Hello, everyone. Welcome to our monthly call. Tonight is a very catchy title, brace yourself, but good content. Our favorite essential oil accessories and resources or must-haves. So we are excited to hang out with you tonight. We've put our heads to go together to come up with some of the items that we use most often to help us get the most out of our oils. And we really hope that our tips will inspire you to grab some of your own resources and accessories that will help make your life easier. You want to make your life easier. So take good notes, watch for the recording to be posted in Fierce Oilers later. And um, remember, raffles are going to happen at the end. So make sure you stay on because you have to be present to win. And Melissa's up first and we have no idea what she's sharing. So here she goes. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I'm going to talk about this clunky, huge book called Modern Essentials. It's like, <clears throat> I I think that if you ever had an intruder in your home, you would just drop this on their foot and all would be well, okay? This is an amazing resource, though. And if you've ever had Modern Essentials in the past, we used to get one every single year. And um, some of the older ones, if you still have it, you should hold on to to it because as a reference guide it's actually the older ones are non-compliant with the fda and so they have a little different information in uh in those books and that's really valuable so if you're ever at a garage sale and you see one from maybe 10 years ago um i would grab it i think there was one year especially yeah they're like black market there was one year that was especially i think it was 2011 maybe Anyway, watch for them. The reason I love this is when I pull it out, I'm never, ever disappointed, you guys. If you wanted to just spend a little bit of time, one of the, you know, we were recently at um, Leadership in Nashville and somebody said, take some time to get to know your doTERRA account. Spend some time in your um, account, look at all the different tabs and <laughs> see all that doTERRA offers you as far as education goes. That's very true for the Modern Essentials book as well. If you just start in the very beginning and page through, if you did 10 pages a day, you'd be shocked what you would learn. Um, it's very user-friendly. This newest version is incredibly user-friendly and it goes through um, individual oils all the way up to, to conditions, things that you might want to search that are going on in your family, which is true of most everything we're going to be talking about. One of the things that is unique to this book that sets it apart from others is it has a table in it that is possible drug interactions with essential oils. When you need this, you're really glad that you have this. Um, I have, um, we recently are working with a massage therapist and she wanted to ask, she asked me about that. And we were able to reproduce a copy of this chart for her which she laminated and has on hand for her customers in case they have any concerns. But there's a whole section on the different chemical constituents. I mean, they're literally, you know, common uses of the essential oils. I, I can't say enough about it. And then a quick reference guide in the back, which has been in every single modern essential since I've been involved with doTERRA, which is a long time explaining um, who you can use them for by the oil and if it needs to be diluted. I think this is an incredible gift to yourself and something that's worth looking through and learning more from. Um, the second thing I was going to talk about is essential oil applications um, for your phone. The only app that I really go to regularly is the Droply app. Um, in the past, we got that for free for being part of this organization, and that has shifted. And now we have a, an education program called GingerBot, and she educates you through Facebook Messenger one step at a time. If you have not um, like upgraded or updated yourself on essential oils in a long time, and you kind of like being on your phone and you're comfortable with Messenger, this is a great way to get education. And the very first thing that Ginger does when you start using that whole little education program is she gives you the free upgrade to Droply. So it's Droply 2.0. It's worth, I'm enjoying going through it and I would recommend it to you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you don't know what Gingerbot is, if you don't know what Droply 2.0 is or how to get it, 
would you just, um, yeah, there goes Miranda. She put it in the chat. Um, and if you're watching the replay and you're not sure about that, reach out to Miranda or myself um, and we will tell you more about it. But I definitely still love, love, love the Dropley app. So that's my two cents. Thanks, M. Laura Whip is next. Okay, so I'm gonna piggyback a little bit on what Melissa talked about. She talked about um, the essential life or modern essentials book. And I'm gonna talk about, are you seeing this? Okay, the essential life book. And it's uh, equally drop on your foot heavy, but really, really valuable for me be a couple of different reasons um, than Modern Essentials. This is not the most recent <clears throat> edition, but uh, I lent my newest edition out to someone and haven't gotten it back yet. So I'm going to show you this one. This one's from 2016, I believe. I looked for the author and it just says in the front, many contributors. Uh, for uh, thanking the many contributors there for, for their collective genius in bringing this work together. And it's put out by a company called Total Wellness Publishing. You can get it um, used ones from thrift books. You can get it from Amazon. You can get it from, I think, Oil Life. Um, so there's lots of different places where you can look up uh, the Essential Life book and get, get a copy for yourself. I highly recommend it. So it's organized a little differently than the book that Melissa just showed you. So in the beginning is the quick reference guide and it goes oil by oil and it tells you uh, it's a, a for your ailments, for all the common ailments. So it'll tell you a series of oils to try using for that ailment. It tells you whether to use them internally, topically, or um aromatically and then it tells you where else in the book it is covered in the body systems section of the book so that ailment that quick reference guide is really helpful when you just need to quickly look up an ailment like you know a hang if i have a hangnail what do i do okay so i'm going to use the example here of anxiety because i think that's a really common issue for a, a lot of people and here it says Use the calming blend, grounding blend, vetiver, frankincense, or the focus blend. And because this is an older edition, it doesn't have um, adaptive. I couldn't, I lost my word, adaptive uh, in this book because it hasn't, hadn't come out yet. And then it also um, takes you right to the pages of the limbic system because that has to do, uh, it's the body system that has to do a lot with anxiety that we're having. So that's great. And then I also looked up cramps because I think that's just another really common one that a lot of us have to deal with or have are dealing with with uh, some of our daughters. And so again, it'll tell you which oils to try and it's in the order, the oils are listed in the order that are most successful uh, in helping for most people. But that doesn't mean it will work that way for you. So you can kind of go down the list of oils and then you can also look it up in body systems. So the next section of the book is all the oils um, alphabetically by single oils and then by blends. And here's what I really love about this book. It is so beautiful and colorful and attractive it, it's like a really great coffee table book um i had it by my bedside for a lot of years um but it's more now it's more of a coffee table book and i can just grab it and read about something that somebody has asked me about or that i myself am concerned about but i picked a lime because that's one of the giveaways tonight and i love lime and so that it tells the top uses at the very bottom of the page, it gives uh, links to research on that oil. Um, it also tells how it's distilled. Uh, lime has, uh, it comes from the rind, of course, and it's cold pressed distillation. Its main constituents are limonene, beta pinene, and gamma, gamma terpenene. 
So it gives you a lot of information about each and every oil that way, in a beautiful way, in a really colorful way. The next section of the book is has to do with body systems. And so the ailment that you might look up are kind of grouped or sorted by body systems. And so I decided I would look up immune systems because immune support is what we're using a lot of right now in this cold and flu season. Hopefully we're getting to the end of it soon, but it talks about the top oils that you would use for immune support. Um, the top oil blends, of course, the protective blend is, is right at the top of the blends that are recommended, what supplements to use. And then it goes into remedies for ailments that are related to immunity, like Lyme disease, um, uh, pain having to do with um, immune system um, issues. And then it tells you, it gives you ideas of uh, how to make a roller for that or what oils to use for that, um, whether to apply, apply it topically, uh, use it aromatically or internally. Um, and then all the conditions that have to do with, with immunity. And there's you know a page and a half of those. So I love that. I love looking things up by body system. And if you have the doTERRA app, it goes by body systems as well, if you have that on your phone. And so that's a really, it pairs nicely with using the uh, your phone app. Um, then the next one in body systems that I wanted to look up was pain, because again, that's another thing that a lot of people are experiencing on a daily basis, whether it be acute pain or chronic pain or just a once in a while. And so they talk about pain and inflammation what it is, what it means, um, the top oils that are used when you have pain or inflammation, and then general conditions having to do with pain and inflammation and how to use your oils to remedy that. So it comes up with, gives you remedies for it. And the very last section is my favorite. It's not the very last, but it's almost the last section. It's my favorite section of all because it um, is the lifestyle section. So it's divided up into cooking and then DIYs for your lifestyle, which I just love. And so one of my, um, it has tips for cooking, but then one of my favorite recipes that I use in here is baked oatmeal. And that uses um, either cinnamon or on guard or cassia in the baked oatmeal recipe, but you could substitute in other oils. And the, the recipes that are included in here are really healthy ones for if you want to make over your lifestyle. So that goes everything from your home and toxicity, removing your toxic load, um, cooking in a, in a healthier way, exercising, all of that is in that section under lifestyle. Um, I even learned how to make my own fermented sauerkraut. Lacto, um, fermentation process using salt that I have tried. And then uh, just two weekends ago, I looked this up in the book and I made a DIY recipe for grill cleaner because my grill was nasty. It never got cleaned off at the end of the season last year. And I we got it out to cook some brats and I'm, I was horrified at how nasty the grill looks. So I looked up the recipe and I made myself a grill cleaner and it worked really great. So that's in here um, for it's it's under men lifestyles for men, but I would say that this would apply to women too. You can make an antifungal foot roll on, and it has uh, tea tree and lavender in it and uh, fractionated coconut oil. So I thought that was a really good recipe that might pertain to people. And then the last one I'm going to mention is a really great recipe for bug repellent. So bug season is coming. We already have ticks up here in the Northwoods and bug season is coming. So that might be a good a recipe. The very last part of the book has uh, called supplements and not the supplements you would take by mouth, but addendums or supplements to the book. So it has the lifestyle pyramid in a little different format because this book is not put out by doTERRA. So, but it has all the components in a wheel version of the wellness pyramid. It talks about the chemistry and research. It has links for that. 
It has an oil substitution chart in the end, in the back. Um, it also has um, an oil properties chart, or um, it gives you the notes, the different um, notes to the oils, like whether it's a top note, a mid note, or a lower note, whether it's a floral or uh, a tree oil, and so on. It also has a really, really good index. You can look anything up at all. And this this kind of, this book was so beautiful. I loved looking at it, and I was motivated to read it more. And it was by my bedside for a lot of years. It was really good bedtime reading. So that is the Essential Life book. Thanks, Laura Whip. Okay, promise we're not going to talk about books all night, but I have some. So this is the thing. They all just have a different personality. Like Melissa's book was the science geek. And Laura's book is like the pretty girl. And my book is kind of like, I've got like first off the trendy. I think this is like, no, no, no. Um, I had a better word, maybe whimsical. I'm not sure. Um, trendy a little bit here. So um, first of all, tell me in the comments if you're a fan of like a book, an actual book you can hold, or if you'd rather look at something on an app. Um, I do really appreciate being able to look something up. Um, so let's talk about the advanced oil magic book here. Um, so I'm calling it slightly less scientific than the other options, a little easier to digest. I might say a little less, you would not necessarily pick this up as a weapon to club somebody who came in your home that was not welcome there. Okay. It's a little lighter. Okay. Okay. So, um, it starts typically with your usual guide. You look up by ailment, what it recommends. And I like that. I really like the pages on the individual oils and blends because their top uses are super straightforward and very not compliant, which I just love because I'm like, but what is it really going to do for me? Um, so I really like that. And on each page, there's a recipe for the oil or blend that it's talking about, plus info on the emotional use for the oil. Um, so this there's a section on, this is a really fun phrase. I just want you to remember this, ailment protocols. I knew you wanted to hear that. So ailment protocols, but it actually is my favorite because you can look up really very interesting things and different protocols for eczema, depression, your pets, if they're anxious, shingles, etc. So it will give you a really nice protocol. It's going to tell you how long it's going to take. Like some are nine months, some are four to eight weeks. How about this one for polio? That's one to five years. Okay. That's a long protocol. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not laughing about that. So, um, and it wraps up with the sections on emotions and energy. So drop a five in the comments if you've used this book before. Um, it is $38.55 on Amazon. I'm sure you can find it elsewhere for perhaps less. Um, but that was the first link that popped up. And then now we're leaving our slightly trendy, whimsical friend for our very woo-woo yoga instructor friend here, The Essential Emotions Book. Oh, I didn't even get to the front of it. Well, here it is. Okay, so this though is actually a real gem because there is a lot of emotional support that oils can offer. And I really truly thought it was hog wash, um, if I'm being honest. Um, but I had two powerful experiences with oils when it comes to emotions that kind of made me change my mind about the whole thing. So put a one in the comments if you've used this book before. Um, first up, my, I had an experience with grapefruit oil. Um, it is the oil of honoring the body. Uh, years ago, I was taking, I like how I remember this number, 16 drops in a veggie capsule. It just the veggie capsules I was filling to help my progesterone levels. And I had a really strange side benefit. That's what we get from our oil side benefits that I wasn't expecting. Um, a little backstory. I didn't always love my body. Um, and after taking grapefruit like that, I felt so different about my appearance and how I viewed my body. And so a few highlights from the page on grapefruit, grapefruit teaches true respect and appreciation for one's physical body. It supports individuals who struggle to honor their body and are caught in patterns of mistreatment. Grapefruit encourages integrity by respecting one's physical needs, and this oil assists individuals in listening to their true physical needs and impulses. So drop a two in the comments if grapefruit resonates with you, or maybe you think it would be great for somebody you know or love. And then Aroma Touch is another one that there's so many good, there's like oils of generational trauma. There's so many good ones, but Aroma Touch um, is the oil of relaxation. 
and it's powerful at releasing emotional tension as well. So I diffused this overnight. And honestly, I felt like I worked through some tough things in my dreams, mainly a relationship that I had been very complicated while I was sleeping. And I woke up feeling really differently, like more released on that topic um, that had been previously quite a sticking point for me. Um, so on the Aroma Touch page, it talks about how on an emotional level, Aroma Touch moves an individual from stiffness of heart and mind to openness and flexibility. This blend is soothing to both body and mind and offers comfort in times of grief and sorrow. So drop a three in the comments if you'd like to be able to work through hard things while you sleep. Um, this book also includes a really powerful story about the author's daughter and how oils helped her heal emotionally from a really traumatic burn at a young age. Um, there's an emotions guide um, that walks you through it. It's just really great stuff. And I just want to remind you that essential oils, I'm not saying they do the emotional work for you, but when you're ready to do the work, they're not a magic wand, but they will meet you in that. And they're a really powerful tool to come alongside you while you're working on some hard things. So this book, $29.95 on Amazon. Whew, so many books. Okay, next up is Mer. With another book. Yay. But we're so excited to bring with two. They're you. getting smaller every getting smaller time. We literally thick. went from the thickest to the hour next. A booklet, but we're not calling this a booklet because that doesn't do it justice for Boyd Truman. And I need to tell you a little teeny backstory just because I like stories and I like going around the fence, but no, it's important. Um, I feel like this is a book of legacy. Like I, I don't ever, and you don't have to like agree with me. I totally understand. I have my own experiences, but this to me is like super precious. And I actually, uh, really like, anyway, so back in the day I was working at a wellness center in man, 2010, 2009, 2010. And Boyd Truman, who is the author and creator of symphony of the cells is mother. Carol Truman had a book, has a book and you can still get it off symphony of the cells website, Amazon, all the things uh, feelings buried alive, never die. And that was like an intro to this for me. So it was really neat and like super personal to me because Carol Truman and I have even a little thing from, I think convention last year at one of the stores the little feelings buried alive never die like oh i you know jammed my middle finger jammed my big toe like why and i go to that book and i'm like what up with my low back what up with my and carol truman really addressed like the emotional roots to physical diseases but like tons of resources in feelings buried alive never die i would highly recommend if you're like stuck in certain areas emotionally or just need to break out of cycles blah blah, blah hook up with that book her son why this is a legacy book created this beautiful symphony that sells a couple of our peeps on here have been to uh trainings i have not and i still will never i'll always i haven't been to symphony that sells yet i think because of the amount of oil and skin sensitivity so but still to be in the room with him would be bonding so all that to say this is my second book and this is also like tore up wrinkled oils blah, blah blah my first book shredded fell apart at the seams and my first book had tons of notes and now i just i get it but I want to just draw your attention to even to number uh, page 17 of the new book that there is four basic oils. If you just need a basic protocol, what is it? I'll go get to that in a sec, but a basic protocol to put on your babies, put on your body, put on your low back, put on your feet. It is literally frankincense, tea tree, massage, um, aroma touch and peppermint. And so you can get away with the basic protocol. And sometimes on like just a busy night or a busy time. And there's many um, possible conditions and it's very like, I like how like teachable this book is. You, you could hand somebody and be like, Hey, now tell me a little bit what this is. After they read it, they'll know what symphony of cells is. It's a neat oil layering protocol and protocols. And you can go in like I do. I already know like respiratory. Okay. I know this, but if somebody's new, you can go in with your new resource and be like respiratory. Great. Yep. Cough. Awesome. Lines up. Let's do the cough one. And then even the symbols next to it, but even the beginning of the book. And I will say, if you pick this up, take the time to read this symphony of cells instructions, take the time to read it. You can learn a lot. Like there's easy. I mean, you can totally learn a lot. Plus you just learn, like you might not see the, you know, until you really look through this, the intensify option and, and just sharing that Boyd Truman knows because of research and all the time and everything he did around the world trainings that when you layer certain oils, they have a be better effect and a really powerful healing effect in the body. I just, I think every home needs this and wouldn't go without it. I don't even know how much money you could save people. I don't even know, but I know there's a lot of money you can save having this book and going to this first. And then, you know, the 80% 
of the things that happen, not emergencies, of course. The infectious disease is a game changer and it's also something we'll always have on hand. I don't have a memorize. I don't need a memorize because I lay out my book. I lay my oils out, fractionated. I do I do dilute all of it um, with everybody, even my husband, especially because you know there's more oils that go on his back. Um, but again, let's draw your attention to the forgiveness protocol real quick. This is a game changer for people stuck in unforgiveness or at any actually certain of other emotions. It doesn't have to be just unforgiveness, but it says, for example, like abuse or bipolar or depression, and I'm skipping through PTSD. I'm going to say for shout out to the veterans out there, they would be really blessed by P uh, by the forgiveness protocol, especially with PTSD. Most veterans have PTSD. There's an, that's a no brainer with that. But one thing too is, yes, I can apply this to my children and forgiveness, but I do have them which helps helps them help themselves really and learn self-care, apply the rose to the um, heart area and the geranium to the liver area. And it kind of walks you through it. You can't really go wrong looking at symbols, you know, and everything like that. I appreciate, lastly, the oil substitution chart in the back because when in doubt, go to the substitution or I don't have, I don't even know one of them. And I'm like, or I don't want to go look for one of them because they're not ready the oils, I'll just go here. What can I use? What do I have? Instead of blue tansy, not everybody has that Roman cam. Um, instead of Roman cam, I don't have that soothing blend, yarrow palm. And if you need help with any of the, um, like when they say carrier or sorry, protective blend, and you don't know if that's on guard, you can always Google look it up or go to their website. And there's cool charts to go along with it. Symphony of the Cells is something that should be in every home. And I feel like that's all I want to say about that. Thanks, Mer. Okay, Jerry is next. Okay, so you've heard the four different books or the books and booklets, uh, apps, whatever you want to use. So now, how are you going to use these oils? Well, accessories, I was, I've got a long list in the Google Doc, and I think what I'm going to do is um, put that in the chat at the end so that people can, and maybe I'll convert it to, a, but anyways, I'll make it in a convertible form so that you can access all the links that I've put in here. So... Um, what I'm going to segue into, because we just heard about Symphony of the Cells, is that um, to really enhance your experience or your whoever you're doing it on, the Symphony of the Cells, you can ingest some of those oils and you can tell which ones to ingest, you know, by looking on your oil bottle and seeing if there's a nutrition facts on the label, and then you'll know. So I've been doing for Don um, the inflammatory because he's having some issues. And so then I make because I'll do a symphony of the cells on him and maybe every third night. And in between, I make these little veggie caps. So you can get these either um, on your doTERRA um, off in your in the website there or Amazon, Oil Life, Aroma Tools. They all have veggie caps. And for those of you who don't know, veggie caps are empty capsules. You break them open. And you get this nifty little tray from Oil Life, or I believe Aroma Tools has it, and even Walmart. I was doing some research. There's different sizes, but I get this is the O, the double O, and most of the capsules that you want to swallow will fit in here. And the little top goes on here, and the base of it goes in here. Then you can take your a syringe that's maybe from your children or grandchildren's uh, dosage, liquid dosage bottle, or since I'm in the dental office, I have a longer one and I have my uh, um, uh, olive oil in here. And then I'll just squirt a certain amount in each capsule, empty capsule. And then using your dropper like this, which I'm going to give away one of these tonight in a pack of uh, um, effective or helpful accessories, but your dropper, then you can just drop, you know, one drop, two drops into the capsule, whatever you want to put in there. And so uh, awesome, awesome. So you can have your capsule, your veggie trays, and you can make your own. I've made them for my dog using Zendocrine for his, my old dog. Um, so there's many ways that you can make your own little capsules. Instead of tasting the oils, you can put them in here and ingest them. I use this a lot. So that's this. Um, then if you want to make rollers, many of you are not new, but for those of you who are newer, so you can buy roller, you know, oils in a roller bottle ready to go. But if you run out and it's empty, you can refill your own or you can make your own. So I make a tea tree roller for my nails and, um, um, you know, it, it comes empty with the roller cap off and then you fill it up and to make it handy to fill it up. You got a little funnel. 
So you can use your funnel, put it on the roller bottle and um, fill it up with your carrier oil, the amount of oils, essential oils you wanna put in there, put your cap on, you're good to go. Now, if you need to take, you run out of that, I got all my stuff here, and you need to take the roller cap off. What I have done is, so you can get the empty roller bottles through doTERRA on the doTERRA website. They come in a 5 ml and a 10 ml, or what I have done also is to get them on Amazon, and then you can get this kit that comes with it. Usually if you buy 12 empty roller bottles, you'll get little pipettes, so you don't have to use the syringe or the funnel. Um, you can just squeeze your carrier oil in there. And then they have orifice removers. You can also buy an orifice remover on the doTERRA website for $4, or you can get it with, with your, you can get 10, roll, uh, 10 or 12 roller bottles for about 12 bucks on Amazon. And then you get all these little accessories with it. So here's an orifice remover. It looks like that. So you use a little edge there to flip it off. And um, so really a great deal. And sometimes you'll even get a couple funnels too. So check that out. I think I have one link for that in the doc that I'll be um, putting in the chat. So you've got roller bottles, there's different sizes. You've got, you know, tiny ones. If you want little ones, there's 5 ml, there's even smaller ones. There's 10 mls, uh, 15 mls. You've got your dropper tops. Now, if you want to make a spray using a old essential oil bottle at 15 ml, there are um, spray tops that you can use. You can buy a pack of these and they look like this. So you just take off the old orifice, screw this onto your um, essential, empty essential oil bottle, put your blend in there, screw it on, and you've got a nice little room spray reusing, repurposing your empty essential oil bottle. Usually works best on the 15 ml. Okay, so we got dropper top, and these dropper tops, I'm telling you, <laughs> you can get them on Amazon, on Aroma, to uh, Aroma Tools and Oil Life. They are, if you've got those oils that really are thick like myrrh or vetiver and take forever to pour out, or if you have a really runny one like frankincense, if you're not careful, or helichrysum I was making, helichrysum is like a dollar a drop. So you don't want to waste that by spilling it on your counter or something like that. So having the droppers, that's like to me almost the number one thing they have for an accessory. Also, wearing your essential oils, you can have the Lava Rock bracelets. You can buy them ready-made. My girlfriend made this one for me and drop your essential oil on there and it's diffused as you're wearing it. You can go with a necklace. So I've had this one for a long time and these are sold on, um, again, the oil, Aroma, uh, Aroma Tools, Oil Life, Amazon, probably Etsy. Um, but you just open it up and on the inside is a little felt pad like this. And they usually come with six or 10 of, well, six, seven, eight, 10 of these. And then I just have like adaptive, I'll put on the blue because it's just a blue label. However, you want to do that and keep them um, separate in a little Ziploc bag so that you can wear it. It looks really nice on your, on your thing. And it's just, you're smelling it and it's not going out as much. So I had to use this in one dental office I worked in because the, um, someone was really sensitive to oil. So it's your own little, and you can even tuck it inside your top if you want to. So, and um, anyways, there's so many things that you can use. I could go on and on, but I think these are the key ones. Um, and I think that's all I have. <laughs> so. All right. Thanks, Jerry. Laura Shields, you are up. Okay. So I have a couple things here that I signed up for. And then also I walked around my house and I just grabbed my favorite things. So real quick, um, continuing with what Jerry said too, about the spray top. A lot of times when we are traveling, which I'm kind of getting ready for us to be gone for a couple of days for spring break. So I was thinking along that line as well. I like to reuse my abode little bottles because I'm now that person that brings my own soap and, you know, things with me when I travel. So my soap or like a hand sanitizer or something that I want to have in the hotel instead of using what they have maybe. Um, that's what I do. I buy those spray tops off Amazon and I reuse either an essential oil bottle or the abode ones are a little bit bigger. And so I like that with either the abode spray or sorry, abode concentrate that's in here or the on guard, um, anything like that. So that is a handy little repurpose there. 
Um, other things with travel while I'm thinking of it, um, I really liked the uh, supplement cases that doTERRA has come out with, with. They have different ones kind of all the time. Some are bigger, like a really large box that we keep upstairs in our cupboard. The other ones that I like to grab are just smaller ones because these are really nice and slim for in your purse or bag. Um, so for me, like I always make sure to have the digestive supportive supplements like your Terrazyme, your Digest Zen soft gel, the peppermint soft gels for sure. Um, anything like that is what I keep in here. And it has about mm, like two, four, six, eight little compartments. And so it's really handy and slick for the purse as well for travel. Um, let's see. The other thing that I was getting ready to pack with, I have two different kind of like cases that I like to bring with us when we're going somewhere. Um, the first one is if you've had like the kids line, this little packet right here or little pouch, I don't know what we call it a pouch. Yeah. It's really fun, like durable. Um, I don't know what kind of fabric this is, but it's really durable. Kids, <laughs> kids safe. You can wipe it clean, um, but it's really good for rollers. So the kids kit comes with like already diluted and gentle oils for the kids. They're very fun and colorful. So you can definitely put those in here, but also, as you can see, like I kind of loaded up with our top stuff that we need for whatever it might be. Um, right now we still have like some germs that we're working through, right? So like coughing, respiratory health, immune boosting just for while we're gone, um, things like that. Uh, when it comes to summer, then more so than I add like bug spray, but it's just a really nice little kind of pouch to have with you. Um, and there's even a nice little extra storage compartment up here at the top. So I can put like band-aids or like a tweezers or again, if we're outside, I can put little tick remover things in there. You know, it kind of just holds everything all in one. Um, so again, for the kids kit, they can use it. They can bring it to school. They could put their rollers in there or you can repurpose it and use it on your own for when you're traveling. It kind of holds everything in there nicely. Um, the other thing that I keep with us that's a little bit smaller, but again, travels well is the doTERRA little oil keychains. So I've had these for a long time now. Now they have a couple other ones that are a little bit bigger too that you can get from time to time um, on any of those, either doTERRA has them or maybe some of the other oil websites like Oil Life um, or Aroma Tools. Well, I don't know if it's on Aroma Tools. Ugh. I'll try to find some links and add them to our chat um, here too. But I can then put in like my top oils of what I want to bring with us. Again, if we're traveling, um, I will kind of want to have a variety, but I don't want to bring all the big bottles for just a couple days. So I put in my top things here for sore muscles like deep blue and copaiba, um, or I have uh, on guard, a little uh, started buying these little roller, like mini little rollers, like these cute little guys. So this is like a comb combination of Arbor Vitae and Melissa. So like a little powerhouse, like when we're gone and then all of a sudden we start falling <laughs> and getting sick. Um, so things like that, helichrysum for anything uh, bleeding or bruising wise, serenity for sleep in the hotel, things like that. So these little keychains are really nice. I usually keep them in my purse or my backpack all summer long. Um, I kind of have one that's more like all the time in there, summer especially, and then a couple, and then an extra one that I add in some uh, more important ones, maybe when we're traveling and we're not there, uh, not home as often. So those are really nice and handy there. Uh, let's see what else. Um, then the next thing that I have, I've started getting these as well off of, I think Amazon is where I found them, um, is these little inhalers. So I don't know if you guys have seen these before. I feel like we kind of started sharing them a little bit more here, but these little inhalers that you can buy again from Amazon, um, are nice because you just put a little cotton. Let's see if I can get it out here. Do, 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 do like one of these little cotton things, you're going to put your oils on here. Um, and then you stick it in here, put a cap on it. And then you can just like take a deep, nice deep breath. You do not insert it into your nose <laughs> because that would be painful. So do not do that, but then it's here and it's ready to use. So it's something for like opening your airways. Um, I actually have one like by on like the end table by each of our beds. Cause sometimes before bedtime, it's just good to take some deep breaths and kind of open up your airways before you go to sleep. So my family likes using those. Um, my girls also have some that are just like a calming, like a balance or something that's just really grounding for them when they're feeling anxious or nervous. Um, so they kind of like making up their own rollers and having their own little stash of inhalers that they can use. 
Um, and I think Taya has even kept one in her backpack at school so she can have it um, and go and take some deep breaths, you know, before recess or when she's coming in from recess. So that's nice. She can just keep it there. Um, and then the last thing that I have here, I'll show this. This is my little magnetic little oil holder. So I have two of these actually, and one is in the kitchen on my fridge. And then the other one is in the basement on my washer um, or dryer, one of the two. Um, and so this is just really nice. It's kind of a nice, convenient way to keep your oils right where you're, you're going to use them. And here I have the um, culinary or cuisine blends. Um, so I have like the Thai, the Mexican, and the Italian blends. So they're right on my fridge, right where I'm cooking. So I can easily use them so I don't forget about them and use them uh, if they're in a box hidden away. And then by my washer and dryer, I keep like my, um, uh, what is it? abode, on guard, sometimes purify, or that really wonderful like dryer ball recipe from Sonia that I love. Um, so I kind of switch it up there by what I want to use on my dryer balls or in my laundry if I want to add a little something there. But um, so the magnetic one, again, you can find that. Um, oh, I want to say that was oil life too. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember where we got that one, but I'll try to find some links and put those of all the things that I have here. I just didn't have that list ready to go. Um, so I'll work on that, but yeah, just kind of a nice convenient way to have the oils around where you're going to use them. So hopefully that's helpful. Thank you, Laura. That's awesome. Um, I want all of those things. All right, everyone, we're going to close this down. I want to thank everyone who shared and took the time to prepare. Um, tell us in the chat either something you learned or an oil accessory that you want to bring with you next time. No, Laura Shields is not an oil accessory, even though you want to bring her on your next trip trip you can't um remember you can click the three dots at the bottom of your chat and save it um save the chat and any info that you might want to grab that was shared if you have questions uh, feel free to put those in the chat box we will watch for those as well um just a reminder that bogos went live today and to be paying attention to that and make sure you're watching in fierce oilers for our education and giveaways on that as well we have also, if you haven't noticed, started up our spring round of Level Up Your Life classes. So these are live videos we do in Fierce Oilers every Saturday morning to teach you more about like the different doTERRA products you can incorporate for greater wellness. Uh, don't miss them. They're really fun. They're great. And um, we really are all about education. So next month, you can expect us to be doing a call like this for um, about 30 minutes. And it is more a more fun title. It is Oils for Productivity. Get after it, girl. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put the uh, link to register in the chat box. That was really good, guys. Thanks for the thanks for the reaction. Um, the link to register and save your spot for that call in the chat box because get after it, girl. You don't want to miss it. All right, Melissa, giveaway time. Thanks to everybody who donated so that we could give away. We have um, how many did I say? One, two, three, four, five, five giveaways tonight. So, Amy, which one are we doing first? A uh, magnetic holder for oil roller bottles. I hope it's as cool as Laura Shields. It's not, but it's still kind of fun. I'm kidding. I can say that because it's mine. And that is going to Chris Benton. Congratulations. Um, how about the bottle of lime? Okay. That my spinning wheel of oils is going to Michaela Walker. Yay. Um, deodorant and mouthwash duo. Okay. Kelly Lorbetsky. Um, the, um, accessories from Jerry. So droppers, a flip cap, spray top, roller top, all the tops. Amy VH. Amy v. I thought you're saying Amy B and I was like, stop it. Okay. Respiratory and mood boost inhaler. Inhalers. Okay. And that one goes to, is Megan's iPhone still here? 
I do I see Megan, Megan's iPhone on. Megan's iPhone. Hey, Megan, congratulations. So, um, Melissa, tell them what to do if they won. If you won, I need you to not in the chat, please, but could you text me or Facebook message me your mailing info so I can get those to you? Um, I appreciate you doing that so that I know that you were here and I, it saves me from having to look up a lot of things. So thank you. Boom. All right, everyone. I don't think I see questions in the chat box. We want to thank you again for being on. We will see you next month. Have a fabulous BOGA week and remember to watch for us live on Saturday mornings um, for those classes. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everybody.